Good evening, everyone. Welcome to an early, early edition of Eagles Chat. I'm sorry that the fact is I've come on a bit early, but uh, it means, it means must. Let's just say that means must. And uh, I know there's been... What's that? Okay. I don't know what I'm just doing. Okay. No. Um, give me a second. Katie's uh, hoping to come on at some point. I'm hoping to get Katie Pete to come on at some point over the next bit. So let's we'll see if we can get Katie to come on. And um, second, you know, when you're trying to do something here. There we go. But uh, nothing to worry about there, I suppose. Good evening, everyone, and hope you are well. Uh, yeah, there's been a bit of an announcement today, which has shook a lot of people uh, and upset a lot of people. And yeah, uh, my personal my personal uh, conditions is I've not got a ticket, so I'm going to come up, but I'm going to see if I can watch it Premier Sports somewhere and then come down and join in with the fun before the game and after the game. Uh, but I'm not going to be able to go into the stadium because I've not got a ticket. So uh, I just went to buy them online today and it wasn't available. And then the announcement came today that uh, about uh, Sheffield Eagles having a reduced capacity. Uh, this is like four or five days before the event as well. So it must have been a, a heart-wrenching decision by Mark, all the people in the office, and how hard it must have been for them to announce it is just beyond what we could even think of. Uh, I can't understand. I can't un we can totally understand what's happening. Uh, but um, it seems as though just when we think, and I don't know about you guys, but I know we were going to be teething troubles. And yes, I knew it's something like that. But uh, we've gone with now, it's like there's 750 people going to be in. Uh, and not this, apparently, there's going to be nobody allowed to stand. I think, well, that's what I'm working what can ting and tail. Everyone that's got a ticket can, um, the, with the reduced capacity, they can do it. But uh, where is it? Are they allowed to stand? Are they allowed to have a seat? Or what? Is there only going to be 750 people in this event? Or is this, uh, well, was, was, was it not that, was the event on last Sunday not, were, did, did it bring a good crowd in or something so they could really do a full uh, trial or something like that? Who knows? Who knows? We just clutching at straws has been. Nothing said, but um, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed. Uh, I should have got my ticket early. It's my own fault. But uh, at the same time, I'll still be up in Sheffield. I'll still be there. I'll still be um, hanging about the place and things. So uh, it, cannot, it cannot be helped. It's not fault of the Eagles. It's not fault. It's people that said they can't have it at full capacity. We can't have the team, can't have this stadium at full capacity just yet. We'll look forward to that day if and when it happens. Um, but um, yeah, five days. I mean, <laughs> I'm not wasting my pay. I'm not wasting my hotel room. I'm not wasting that. I'm still going to pop up with Sheffield and see folks. Um, but uh, it's just the thing that um, the things that's going in place. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. It'd be great. Um, if anybody wants to take this into the stadium, please, please let me know. Um, I want this in the stadium. I want this and things. Uh, all on the sake. So, um, sorry about that. Um, but uh, it's, it is what it is. There's nothing that we can do about it. There's nothing that we can say that this is the reason why I put all of it. But um, uh, it is a shame the fact that we can't have that stadium going. It's just how many tickets have Witness sold? How many, how many, how many Witness are going to be there? How many from Witness are going to be coming over the Pennines? And watching the game on the Sunday, on the Monday evening, um, as as uh, that being taken into account, how many they've sold? Uh, it just depends on lots and lots and lots of things of what's happening on Monday yeah. night. All right, so oh no, my wife's here with me for. <laughs> um. So excuse me a second here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no points. Anyway, so uh, anyway, we're not get, not do away with all the negative things. We we'll go back with the positives. Um, we're back. It's simple as that. Sheffield Eagles are home. 
we're going to have we're going to have the Eagles back in Sheffield, which is the main thing, which is number one reason for everything. It's number one for everybody to concern with the club, every supporter, everything that's done. Yes, okay, it's a reduced capacity for this Monday, but it'll be maybe it'll be full capacity for the next game, the next and the next one, and the next one, and the next one like that. It is a future build thing. It is like that. Yep, I'm. Uh, I, I will be there at some point. I will be there to christen the stadium, but uh, we'll see exactly when. But like I said before, if anybody wants to take this into the stadium, please, please, please let me know. I want this flag on TV on Monday. I want this flag to be seen by everybody at home on Monday with the eagle, with this flag. This flag needs to be in that stadium on Monday because it's welcome home. It's the welcome home to the Eagles and everything. Um, so uh, I can't. I'd, I'd love to be there. But uh, obviously, if I'm going to tick it, I can't be. So uh, there's going to be, <laughs> apparently, there's a place on the hill that people will be watching it from. So there's quite a few people will be all watching it from up there, which will be funny, especially when, <laughs> especially when we see all the folks and everything that we know. But I know it must be frustrating. It must be heartbreaking for everybody concerned in the office and in the club and everything like that. But uh, make the best of it what you can. If you've only one of the fortunate ones that are going, you've got your ticket, you've got your season ticket, you've got your seat, then go. Get yourself there. Make that place rock. That is the thing you need to do. You need to make that rock. You need to make that place rock totally. My right, give me a sec here. I can't see Chapman. Even Zach, hope you're well. If you want to join in the club, if you want to come on and join in, please, please do. I will put the link here. There we go. Uh, there we go. If you want to come on, please, please do so. You are more than welcome to come on the show. It is very nice if you would like to. I would love the company. And just telling us about how it feels for you for next week. And if anybody can hear my dog, I do apologize. <laughs> um, but uh, my dog's barking away. Um, but all in all, it's, uh, it's an exciting time. Eagles are back, and that's the way it's going to be, and that's the way it should be. Um, we're back home, and that's the way that uh, we should be. So uh, good luck to everybody that's going to be there Monday. Um, I'll be there. You'll see me about. You see, <laughs> you see me about. Now, what Eagles shirt? Who knows? What Eagles shirt will I be wearing? Hmm, I don't know yet. I still haven't picked it out. I still haven't picked it out, so I'll still be wearing one. But it just depends on which one. This is my latest one. I found this on eBay. I got this is a great price and everything, so I'm happy. I'm happy to get this one. It's got the Challenge Cup. For, it's got the uh, the Grand Final sticker on it and everything. So I'm happy with that the 2012, the 2012 final. So Macron, Macron's uh, jerseys. I'm sorry, my steering wheels in my way. I do apologize. I should have shifted this. I do apologize. Sorry about that. Um, but uh, hold on, give us a second. Let's get this move. I can move this. Give me one sec on there. Right. Here we go. That should be better. There we go. See more. What's that say? Right. Okay, right. Daniel Burr, he says, it's the beginning of something special for the club. The Eagles are home. It may not be the best ideal start, but it's a building process. I'm sure the club will be working endlessly behind the scenes to try and up the attendance. However, if it's not to be people, not to need to lose faith, we can build from here and get the OLP rocking week in, week out. I know, I know, mate, but at the same time, people have come in, coming down from Scotland. Uh, some down the book, two couple of days off work. They're coming down from Scotland they're coming out there. I mean, I booked my hotel room. I've got my train fare books and everything. And then I was just going to get my ticket today and I can't get it. So it is what it is. It is. It's exactly what it is. But at the same time, you've got to see it from both sides. It's five days before the event. Five. And this has happened. It's just, it's just heartbreaking. It's just absolutely heartbreaking. The fact that this has happened now and... Uh, I, mean, I must admit, when I saw the club statement, when I said club statement, I went, oh, no. Oh, no, they've not cancelled it. They've not put, they've not shut the stadium again. That did, got, I think that went through a lot of people's minds when we saw the statement. 
And uh, it was a bit of a heartbreaker because when we saw it, I just went, oh, no, club statement, what? So we knew it was something. Uh, and then all of a sudden we find out that it's reduced capacity. So it is what it is. Uh, get Dino and no, this, no, 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 I'm not putting... Listen, I'd rather come when the stadium's better. Well, I'll, I'd rather, Richard, I'd rather get in there, fine, and everything like that. It will be okay. Don't worry about it. It will all be all right. I'm fine. I'm a grown man. I've missed matches before, but I'll miss matches again. I just want this in the stadium on Monday. I will be in Sheffield Monday. Don't get me wrong. I will be there. I will pass this to somebody that gets this in the stadium. I want this is the why I want in the stadium. I'm not bothered about me. I don't know anything like that. I just want this flag in the stadium for that game. This is all I'm asking. That flag has to be in on that day. It has to be. It has to welcome home the lads. It has to be welcome home to everybody there. To be. This, that has got to be. Even after I put it on the gate outside, I'll put it on the gate outside. So that's the thing for me for Monday. I, that, this flag has to be there. It will be there. I'll just make sure it's outside the stadium. <laughs> and then you'll know it's me. Uh, but um, it's like I said, it's everything's um, everything was going great. We're all looking forward to it, and then this drop, this bombshell just drops. It wouldn't be Sheffield Eagles if it wouldn't be Sheffield Eagles without something like this, would it? It's always the same. But uh, oh, it is what it is. We can't help it. Everything. will just let me pin that comment. So, if anybody wants to join in, please do so. The link is there. It's the pinned comment on the page, and you can go in there and there. Uh, Get come along and say your say what you're thinking about next week and looking forward to it. Getting your free drink, whatever that drink may be, who knows what it is. That's to be said. It could be anything. It could be corporation pop. It could be anything. But um, everything will be good. Everything will work out in the end. I'm, I know it will. It'll all be. There. It'll be. They'll all be there in the end. I'm sure of it. Um, my hopes and everything for the season. Um, like I said, the description, what well, the hopes are for next week and the following weeks and the season and everything else like that. My, my, my expectations for the season have already gone all over and above everything else that's happened because of um, the players have really, really gone out of their way and really performed above, to a, above a level that uh, people didn't expect. I didn't expect us to be so it's when Anthony Thacker is playing out of his skin. We can't say nothing about that. Thax is just being Thax as always, even at the age of 37. He's still, still putting it out there. We've got Joel now as vice captain. He's doing a thing. He's, he's looking more and more better every single week, everything like that. I think the extra responsibility has helped. And uh, it really, really it seems... Oh, excuse me. It really seems to be uh, doing the trick for, for Mr. Joel, uh, Mr. Super Joel. Can't call him by his proper name. Um, we've got all the things that's happening in the season. It's all building in place. Mark's doing a great job as usual. All the support staff behind the scenes are doing a great job. The physios, the uh, the conditioning, Jed, Jed Cochran, Keith Senior, all the other people that's helping Mark out. Amazing. We've got to say congratulations to Jed again for being from uh, for getting the job as an uh, Ireland coach and everything. We will be getting Jed on. We will be getting him on at some point over the next few weeks. He's going to be coming on the talking. I mean, I've even bought a jersey in his honour. So uh, we'll get that sorted and everything that's coming on the show. Um, rest of the season looks absolutely fantastic. But look, it's got more things because of all the home games we've got. Um, there's a lot of everybody's been playing their home games and everything. We've just been playing away. We've just had, apart from the two forced honours, we've been playing away games, which are fantastic. So everybody's been there. Everybody's been getting there. And uh, we should be okay for the season. We are well. We've got to make the, the OLP a fortress. We've got to make it so good that now the fans will make it so good that everybody that comes in there will know that when they come in there, they're gonna have a game of tough rugby league. That they know when the, when they could take on that pitch, they're gonna take on all the lads that wear that Sheffield Eagles jersey and wear it with pride, and they know they're gonna get away have the toughest game of rugby league they've ever had. Because now we've got to make Sheffield a fortress. It has to be, just like we did it at some stage with Don Valley, we've got to make it a fortress. We've got to make it ours. And that's with fans. Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. Sack, okay. She's asked not, okay, no worries. 
Right, no problemo. All right, yep, yep, no problemo. That's done, that's done anyway. Anyway, so next week, next, next week and everything, we should be fine. And uh, we should get everything on. And uh, we should be all, all having a good thing. Many, many thanks, by the way, to Richard that came on last night to talk about the Heritage Project, to Mark that came on Monday as well to talk about the situation. Uh, we have all these wonderful things. Tonight, uh, Friday night, we will have Mr. Dan Fowler. He's coming on. Uh, he's coming on about the media, about that wonderful video he made. Uh, that has got to be one of the best videos ever made by for Sheffield Eagles in, in his world. It is amazing to see it. So we've, uh, we're going to do that and get that sorted. Uh, everything else is be falling into place. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's going it's gonna to be good. It's going to be good. No matter what happens, no matter what happens, everything like that, it's there. It'll be done. I've got faith in these, but I've got faith. I've got faith in this, lads. I've got faith in this team. I've got faith in everybody concerned with this team. We're gonna rock it on Monday. We're gonna rock it on everything like that. I've got a pay, I've got me, I'll have, I'll have anything you need me. You can you know, guarantee it. So I'll be all right anyway. But uh, it'll all be good. It'll all be good. I'm on my own now. From uh, I've got the house to myself now for a week. And <laughs> uh, my wife's going away tomorrow. She's going away to Tenerife for a week. So it's just me in this house. Um, yeah. So hold on a minute. I've got a message from Zach here. Let's see if he wants to come on. Let's see, let's see if old Zach Davis. Let's see if Mr. Davis wants to come on the show. And so, uh, uh, but uh, end of the day, it's it is what it is. That's what we've got to say. So um, I'm not going to discuss it anymore. It's all negative, bad things. We're looking forward to next week. Jason Bass is the, the picture on today. Five days to go. So that means who's number four? We haven't got a play that way. Are we going to play that way? Four? Is that? Ryan Dickinson, is that Ryan? Ryan was number four. And three, two, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got them. James B. John, then Josh, Josh Gudek and all that. We've got them all. So it's going to be wonderful. Yeah, I, I love watching all these countdowns. I think they're great. Easy. As somebody's coming in to help me out. He's Mr. Zach Davis. Ah, oh, look at him. He's here. Hey, what's up? He's got an Eagles jersey in the background here. What's up? I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> last, last minute to join in. I'm yeah. Very shortly. Uh, oh, all right. Yeah, come on then. What's it? Right, I, I say this to everybody for this week. What does next Monday mean, and what the nine years have done mean to you? I cannot wait. It's going to be a defining moment for me following the Eagles, right up there with us going to Wembley for eighteen ninety five club. It, this this is going to be the event. Um, I just want to say the statement that was released today. Yeah. It's, it is what it is. It's, it. it's a bad situation. None of us are happy about it. Um, I bet I bet the office are really are, are less happy than we are. Absolutely. And I that, think, that's what I just wanted I to jump I'm, in and say before I have to shoot off. Yeah. Um, this is something that is being thrust upon the club, as I'm sure you can all appreciate. Yeah. Um, those people that work in that office, the Mark, Mark, Mark and Tash and everybody else and yeah. Liam, who I know is left now and whatever, have worked so hard and put all the legwork in for Monday. And this is just another obstacle that's been put in their way. And Couldn't have said it better. Yeah, it's just another obstacle in that. Get are, I, I appreciate people aren't happy. I'm not happy. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm there. I'm, I'm a season ticket holder anyway. So it, it makes no difference to me. But it, it's um, it's just, it's one of those situations. Yeah. I think best way is just, we just, we just got to sit back and see what happens because Monday's still five days away. Yeah. We've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday itself. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Let's Absolutely. just sit back. I know what's been said. I'm not going to say it anymore. Um, I'm just, it's just basically him to sit back and let's see what magic can be done. Let's see if we can get magic works and everything at the same time with that. So, uh, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. So that's the way we'll go with that one. Uh, we, uh, there's never a dull moment, is there? <laughs> play, play the never a dull, no, no, I've got to say that. There's never been a dull it's, moment. Ever. I, I think you said it best when you spoke to Tubbs the other night. 
this is going to make a fantastic book. It is. It's, what, it is. What, a, what a roller coaster of a club, never mind from the start. But, you know, you take, you go from the, the Sheffield Huddles, Huddersfield Giants onwards. Write that book. You know, the, write the merger, but hold down the river. It's and the, then... the, they've done pictures at Eagle. They've done a book about Eagles up to 1999. They did the against all odds was from like the first yes. ten years. Yeah, I've got that one. Yeah, that that was done the first ten years. Oh God, please don't look at them pictures. Oh God, um, there's some bad ones. Um, the second book that was all the illustrated that was all the way up to 1999. That that's been done. Yeah. It's just now. I would love it if somebody would just say, "Hey, we need to write a book from the September announcement in '99 of." there's going to be a merger when I was there in the middle of all of it. And I got told and I went, Hey, what, what? And I got told five. It was the, it was the week of in discontent. I called it because I returned yeah. from PGL the week before I turned up to do some work for the eerie experience. Greatest thing ever uh, on the Monday. And then by the Friday, they announced that they merged. I knew there was something happening Tuesday, Wednesday, because John Keir and everybody was starting to talk about it. And then all of a sudden said it had to be done by 30th of September, 1999. That was the date the merger had to be signed. And that's when they get the extra 1.25 million from the RFL for merging. Hull FC and Gateshead Thunder, they emerged. So everybody says about Hull FC and all this. Yeah, they forget Hull FC merged and took the blatant took over Gateshead Thunder. Yeah. So that's why Gateshead Thunder started again and now become Newcastle. So well, Rugby League is a, a sport followed by people with short minds. Yeah, oh, don't, short I mean, memories, a hundred percent. Yeah, they forget about all the times. I mean, it's like I said on Monday to Tubbs. He had three weeks, three weeks, three weeks to get a team together. Yeah. We we only got in because Bramley pulled out, and that was the reason. And then like and all of a sudden, three weeks to get seventeen players, and then all of a sudden, you got to train them to play again against Chorley. And uh, <laughs> I would just that day will always live in memory for me, always because I was so happy that I to see the Eagles. Yeah, they were yeah. wearing Chorley kit, but. End of the day, that's it. Ah, well, that's just a technicality. Yeah, but um, no. Anyway, have you sent in your name for uh, for this mascot? Have you sent your name in? Have I, you I have submitted name the name. Yeah. I'll, what name? Uh, what did I? Uh, I said Marvin and got slated in the other Monday. I was <laughs> like, like Marvin. I was it Ernie? Ernie. Ernie. <laughs> It was something stupid along those lines. Ernest, Ernest or Ernie the Eagle. That's good. Ernie the Eagle, which I quite like. Mm. But, I think, uh, I I think it, every name under the sun has been with the letter E at the start has been said by everybody. Yeah, because every other club, all their their mascot, it's all alliteration. But meh. Ronnie so the Rhino, Tony the Tiger. You see, it, it, it just rolls off the tongue. But whatever it is, whatever it is, and whatever he said every season Monday. It's going to be fantastic because oh, Tash is. has been working her backside up to the bone on this. So it's wonderful to see it. So uh, it's uh, it's going to be cool. So we'll, we'll, be, we'll be all be fine. But uh, I'll, I'll be up there some Monday. I'll have to, yeah. to, I might have to give you this. I might have to, if I can't get yes, in, I might I'll, have to give I'll you this. Grab it. Definitely. Yeah. So that'll be, that'll be seen anyway. But uh, mate, you'll get yourself up because I know you've got a busy night and everything like that. Yeah, I've, uh, I've got a pub quiz to go and lose. So... <laughs> Oh, I'll be well. I shall see you after the weekend. All right, man. You say I'll, I'll be up on Monday anyway. So I'll, even if it's before the game or after the game, whatever it is, everybody yeah. will see me anyway. No worries. Yeah, we'll but so uh, I'll be there. All right. All right. No worries, mate. Okay. Take care, Take pal. Care, bye bye, mate. Bye bye. That's Zach. He's always always a, always a pleasure to have Zach on the show. Everything is all like that. So we always have that, and we have a laugh and a lot chat, chin chain wags, and things like that. But uh, yeah, this book, this. This era of the Eagles from 2000, late 99 to now, somebody somewhere has got to write this. It is an unbelievable journey. It is unbelievable what's happened. I defy any other rugby league club to have gone through what we've gone through. And that includes Bradford Bulls fall from grace with their admin after administration, after administration, after administration, and all the rest of it. No, no other rugby league team has gone through what we've gone through, uh, what Mark's gone through, what Brian Aston, his dad's gone through. Angela Gregory in the early days. All these wonderful folks that did it. And they got the Eagles. Ian Annis worked tirelessly and everything like that. Everything was getting going. We got academy. We got a sense of excellence for the kids. We got everything going. And then Don Valley Stadium gets demolished. And so all of a sudden, it's like, right, we go full time. We get in a position where we could go full time. And then all of a sudden, the funding for the uh, excellence gets pulled. 
It is heartbreaking to see what has gone through Sheffield Eagles in the last 22 years. I mean, everybody remembers the story that I said about what happened with the merger, what I was told. Um, I just came back from Wales. I'd been working in Wales for four months. I'd just resigned as the kit man in April. So I was in Wales for four months. I come back and uh, got a phone call from my friend Jason, Jason Davidson, who's now at Leeds Rhinos, and uh, saying, could you do the year experience till the end of September? And I said, yeah, no problem. Let, get, let me go. Let's go. So I did that and went in. And then all of a sudden, uh, I just uh, decided that, uh, and then the week of the, the last week of September was when it all started to happen. And there was rumors and everything. And then suddenly, I think I went upstairs and Mike Turner had left and he'd gone to join, I think it was Bristol as commercial manager. So nobody had replaced Michael, uh, which is a shame because Mike Turner was an amazing commercial manager for Sheffield Eagles. Amazing. Um, what he did for the club and everything with the LG sponsorship and Deu, and the famous Deu cars and all the things like that. It was just, it was magical times for the less, less of the nineties. Um, so we had, um, so all of a sudden I got, I think the person who told me was Ralph Rimmer. It said, this is happening. There is rumors. And I'm just going to tell you because you deserve to know face to face that Sheffield Eagles, we are merging with Huddersfield Giants. It's going to be announced by the end. We're sorting it out and everything. And I said, is it a 50-50 merger? And he said, no, it's 74.6% takeover by Huddersfield Giants. We will own 24%. Evening, Andrew. I hope you're well. Um, we had that. And then all of a sudden, with everything that came on after that as well, um, I said, well, what's happening? And then, they, then they, he told me the plan of like having so many games in Huddersfield and the plan was to have four games at Bramall Lane. Not Don Valley Stadium. Don Valley Stadium was dead. Don Valley Stadium was going to be a white elephant. It was never going to be used again for rugby league. That was it. It was done. So then Ralph said to Bear Barty, and he goes, we're going to have four games in Sheffield. And I said, well, that's not really fair to all the Eagles fans. And from that moment on, I knew I knew where the writing was on the wall. I got, I had all my jerseys then, because they were famous from 1984 to 1999 and everything. So, and here's another wonderful, wonderful person I know very, very well. Here he is. She, she's Mrs. Sheffield Eagles. I will always call her Mrs. Sheffield Eagles, because there's no one else that can come close to her. Hello, Katie. Hello. Yeah, there's a button at the bottom. <laughs> oh, well, she's working it out. <laughs> I think I'll have to put instructions on everything like that when they're doing with the motor. Do, 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 do. You can see cogs going in the brain now. Right. Ah, there we go. Evening. All right, sorry, I've been spinning, so this is what I look like, and that's what you get. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's great. It's, I've got my teeth in this time. I remember I didn't have my teeth in last time, so I've got my teeth in now. Oh, good, thank right. God. Go, go, go. How are you doing? You all right? I'm all right, love, are you? Are you excited? Oh, beyond excited. <laughs> I have to keep pinching myself every time I think about it. How many times have you cried at that video? Oh, it's, all, it's honestly, I were a gibbering wreck. He posted it about what time would it? I think it was Sunday, wasn't it? It was Sunday yeah, last week. Yeah, about five to midnight, and I've been drinking. Mm. So anyway, <laughs> we're in summer house, <laughs> and Alan had gone to the bar, aka fridge, and uh, he come back with some drinks, and I was sobbing like a baby, and he's going, "What? What's up? What's up?" And I couldn't talk. <laughs> And I'm going. He's going. What's the matter? Somebody died, and I couldn't talk. Yeah. And I went. I went like that look at picture and he's like oh for god's sake <laughs> well i'm actually oh. floored me down with that i'm telling you yeah. so i understand mark's not very happy with you <laughs> yeah but i do love mark he knows i love him. <laughs> yeah. i can't help it if backer is just amazing yeah, yeah. and he is amazing honestly if... in my own like what 35 years of watching eagles He's the best player I've seen wear an eagle shirt. I know not that's Thax. Not Thackeray. Yeah. Oh. 
I know it's a bold statement. It's, but it's, it's oh, it, do you know when you said that the greatest? It was you that started it all with this debate because you said Anthony Thacker, in my opinion, is the greatest player that's ever played for Sheffield Eagles. And yeah. all of a sudden, me and me and Martin Webster went, "Oh, this will be a good one for sure. This will be a wicked. This is a great one." And it just went from there. So, yeah, it makes him so good. I've never seen anybody read the game as well as him. I mean, he's literally everywhere on the pitch. It's like, I, I can't believe one minute he's on one wing, next minute he's on other. And he's, he's, he's just an amazing player. I love watching him. I mean, don't get me wrong. He may have had one bad game. <laughs> But I'm, I might let you touch his jersey. I might bring his jersey up so he can wear it for one minute. Oh, he's amazing. Honestly, <laughs> I, I keep telling him, I keep saying, Thackeray, you, you've surely got another year in you. I, to be honest, um, as much do as it hurts. Do you, see, do you see the stats, Dean? Yes. Yeah. And it's as fast as, you know, some of the young ones. So surely that's a sign. Yeah. But wouldn't you rather he went out at the top of his game and they'll, they'll, they'll all finish with a bit with an injury and an injury would force him out? Let him go out at the top of his game and everybody remembering this season. No, the top of his then... game will be next season. <laughs> okay. I love the positivity you always say, you. I love it to bits. Um, right. Nine years of how many homes? How many miles? How many false dawns? How many oh, things? It's, it's like you I know, said, you could write the it'd be the biggest bestseller in the world. This this book. I don't think any other club would be here today no. with what we've gone through. No, I mean we're barely here now, and our fan base has dropped dramatically, and and there's obviously a reason for that. You know, who wants to travel to every game away to watch the team? You know, and, and, and it's totally understandable. But now it's time to start building back in it. Yeah. It's, it, yeah. I call it the rebirth. It's like a 1984 rebirth. It's like, okay, yeah. it was a brand, it's a brand new club, brand new stadium. Yeah, okay, we've played there. But then we had portable toilets and everything else there and the portable stand. No, that's gotta, that's, that stand has got to be the longest port, temporary stand in the history of rugby league, I think. Yeah, um, probably. But it looks great. I mean, I got I put a post up and I said, where's the badge on the side of the stadium? And somebody went, no badge is going to be put on that stadium. And I went, why? It was all on all the uh, all the artist yeah. impressions yeah. and everything. So this gentleman was like, no, there's going to be no badge. And I'm like, they better be. I want someone that says Chef Regal's on, playing on, on that stadium. I want someone you know, that I says do. it. No, I don't. Yeah. But I mean, we don't have the... Um, no. I say, do we on what's on that stadium and what isn't? So yeah. Mark Hannigan says, Mark Hannigan says, yes, they will. Yes, they will. <laughs> Good. Mark, Good. Hiya, God, Mark. Man. Hiya. Um, I think let's let's go, let's go with you because literally now we can do this and do it properly. Katie P, 35 years of watching Sheffield Eagles. You've been there, promotions, relegations, Challenge Cup final wins, the famous merger. The rebirth. The good, the bad, and the ugly. The, the good, the bad, the ugly. They're almost gone out of existence in 2016. The, 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 the demolition of Don Valley in 2013 and the promise of a new stadium that was in the two years after that. Because remember, yeah. the OLP should have been up 2015 or 2016, well, if I remember. I started a, a petition as soon as the uh, shut Don Valley. Yeah. And uh, took that to the council and um, sat with them quite a few times. I can't say that, I'd like to say that it was positive, but for me it wasn't. You know, I, I mean, I know that they felt the Eagles, but for me, I don't think they felt them enough. That's just my opinion. It's not yeah. the club's opinion. Um, and then obviously, again, when things weren't going to plan and we were still on the road I went back with another petition saying that if we did have a stadium built then they need to make sure that the rent is affordable for us uh, and that needs to be in writing for whoever they choose to have the stadium to build the stadium um 
And to be honest, I was fingers crossed it were going to be the other lad that got the stadium, but that wasn't to be, and that's another council decision, yeah. which I didn't agree with. Mm. But you know, with Katie. We've just been given some breaking news. Mark Hannigan wants to come on and explain about Monday. Do you want to say oh, about it? Yeah, gonna... get him on. Yeah, yeah, he'll come on. He'll come on this feed. Don't worry about that. He'll come on yeah. this. Easy. This is talking the man himself. We are joined. This is, I love it. Eagles chat every day. <sighs> I must, must be off my mind. You'll have a sore throat by the time it comes to match day. Yeah, as you saw that, I do streaming every day. So I get used to talking a lot anyway. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, I've I've got I've got a long night anyway because I've got nice Dino. Nice hey, oh, I've I've got I've got a long night anyway because I've got nice. <laughs> nice what flag? Yeah. Oh, hey, any design, anything you want, let me know. I'll get him done. You can have anything on a flag. Honestly, he did that for me within from design from design to getting in my house in two days. That was the quickest I've ever known it. Hello, Hi. Mr. Hannigan. How are you? Evening. Can you hear me? Yes, we can, mate. Uh, I'm surprised you've got any hair left, fella. It's going. <laughs> How are you? Let's do it. We're disappointed, um, obviously, um, but we are continuing to do everything we can to resolve the situation. Um, I, I can tell, I can't say a whole lot, but I can say it, it's not us. This is a situation a safety critical situation being put on us by the SAC, which is the safety advisory group. Um, and it's to do with the stadium in its final stages of being completed. Do you think it can be resolved then, Mark? I, between Mr. Aston and myself, sleep has been something we've not had much of in the last 36 hours or so. Uh, we are doing everything we can to do whatever we can um, to work. Uh, put this situation right as best we can. So, because obviously there's only a limited amount of tickets, how many is that? Uh, we, we haven't had it in writing yet exactly what it's going to be, but we are pretty much at capacity now. Right. No. Okay. okay. A witness bringing many then? Uh, I, I don't know, to be honest. I've not looked at all the figures yet, to be honest. No. I'm just trying okay. to working on no. total numbers at the minute as opposed yeah. to the breakdowns. It's no wonder you're losing your air. Do you? It, 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 you can't imagine it, can you? I mean, just when you think, and it's like, yeah, and then all of a sudden, there's bang. another hurdle to get over. Yeah, yeah I, I, I can't, I can't sell this long because obviously I, I'm sure you can yeah. lots to do. I've got a lot of emails to send and, and trying to get in touch with oh. people. But I, I have read the Facebook comments, and I appreciate all the support, and I and I respect people's comments as well. It, it's not where we want to be as a club. It's not our fault. There's, there's nothing we can do about it. Um, but we are trying everything we can to get more tickets available. Matt. Well, go on and say thank you. Thank you for coming on, mate. I know, I know. And I will, I will put a written thing on the supporters group as well. All right, mate. Thank you very much for popping in anyway. And I hope you can get some sleep at some point. No problem. But if anybody wants to message, call. I'm sure the people realise the phone lines are getting a bit mad at the minute. We will <laughs> everybody get talk to everybody. We're not, we're not trying to dodge anybody. It's just the amount of calls we're getting at the minute. Okay, yeah. mate. All right. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. I appreciate Thank it. You. Anyway, take care. Good, have a good night's sleep if you can. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Yeah, take care. Tell. Take care, mate. Bye, love. There you go. Wow. Wow. Well, oh, it's such a shame, isn't it? It breaks me out. I mean, in a way, I'm I'm happy because eagle. I always set this up for something like for, for supporters to chat about. And then yeah. all of a sudden, when you get that coming on, and it's not just anybody, it's like the guys that just they're running the club, you get Toby on here and everybody, everybody to do with the club just comes on here and is like, Yeah, we want to talk to the fans. And you yeah. can't get you can't get much breaking than that. So you can't. it's so good, isn't it? That's why I'm so glad you kept this up. Oh, it keeps you connected. <laughs> That's all it, it stops you from being disconnected from it all. And there's a lot of that, and a lot of people have gone away from it, haven't they? The thing that did it with me is doing this is I discovered Zoom. I was on a, the thing that did me, I didn't, I wasn't happy doing it on the phone. I thought it sounds rubbish. It looks complete amateurish. So I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. And then all of a sudden my wife went, well, have you heard of Zoom? And I was, what Zoom? And she showed him, she says, it's like Skype, but you've got to pay for it. So I looked at how much it is. And I thought, well, I can pay that a month. And if I can do an Eagles chat every week and get guests on, 
pay for it. And then bang, went. And the first person on in the new one, Dan Fowler. So, and that was two years ago, next month. So two, oh, really? in two years, it's crazy. Wow. It's, yeah. I just remember when I was just getting everybody on and just saying, tell us about your stories. Tell us about your Eagles and everything yeah. like that. And it was just amazing. And, and players as well. Oh, it's great, you know. Johnny Lawless, Matt Crowver, Gary Edrington and Kath. And I know, oh, how good is that? <laughs> I think the best one was when we got Bill Gardner and doing it through Facebook Messenger onto this and doing it through this microphone. It was yeah. brilliant that day. But uh, it's everybody we've had on. I would love to get as many people on this as possible. I really, really would. How but, have you um, been going this week? Have you, have you, has he been good, you sure? Have you had anybody I, else on? Um, we've had Mark on. We had Richard from the uh, Heritage Project yesterday. Right. Uh, Dan's on Friday. I'm trying to find somebody for tomorrow. Otherwise, it's me again. Uh, yeah. But uh, no, I think it's, uh, it's doing all right. I mean... What about it, Tasha? Have you asked Tasha? I think Tash is a little bit too busy at the moment. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I think the office people have, have earned a little rest or something because, like you said, look, we looked at just Mark just then. He looks, he looks out on his feet and everything like that. And um, so they're trying their best and everything like that. So you can't ask for any more. I can't believe another club that would be so honest as what well, Mark, Mark, Mark H and Mark A and Natasha and everybody else is doing for it. It's, it's just wonderful. It's very family oriented, isn't it? Always has been, hasn't it? It's been the one thing we've always had. It's a family. Even when we did the famous season when we went to every away game, when it was an every away game, getting on the buses at nine in the morning or going yeah. to Doncaster <laughs> or going yeah. to Salford or anything like that. And we all got on that bus and we all went. My favourite away game always will be Cass after we lost. We beat Widners at Bramall Lane and we went to Cass for the following week and we took a thousand fans to Cass. Well, that, that when is, it flooded? No, no, this was like a few years before it flooded. Right. That, when it flooded, that was the day that Princess Diana died. That was end of 97 season. Were it? Because we yeah. went back to our car, me and my dad, and uh, it were up to uh, our trunk car, his, his car. Yeah, I remember, I remember Linton Stott telling me afterwards, he says, we just started downpour when they were playing. He says at half time, every single one of the players jumped in the showers to warm up because they were getting hypothermia. Yeah, oh. yeah. It was torrential, weren't it? And I remember it going down hill. I've never been so drunk in my life. I think that was the last major time. I, no, it wasn't the last major time I was drunk at an Eagles game. No, I know the last time I was May the 2nd, 98. Um, I tell you what, though, Dean, I don't drink at matches because no. I drive. So I... I don't drink. The only matches that I would drink at is like when it's been Blackpool Bash or Wembley or you know yeah. things like that. But I'm gonna have a drink on Monday. <laughs> you and me both. Right. I don't care what it is. I don't care what the free drink is. Um, I think at the end of the day, um, I mean, over the last nine years, there's been. I think if you anybody knows how many grounds it's been, it's you. Um, there's been Oland Stadium, Bawtree Road, yeah, um, Doncaster, so Don, Don, Doncaster Knights, Doncaster yeah. Rugby League, um, Wakefield, uh, well, recently Featherstone, Featherstone, uh, uh Chesterfield, Saltergate, yeah. Chesterfield, yeah, oh, oh god, yeah, Saltergate, old Saltergate, that was uh, old Gran, weren't it? Dear me, remember that day when they had to walk around with a megaphone to do the announcement because the, the PA system broke and they did, to let the game go on, Peter Sefton, God bless him, uh, South Yorkshire transport yeah. guy, he ran around the whole side with a pitch with a megaphone and he was doing the announcements through a megaphone just so the game could go on. Um, um, it's things like that that remember. Um, was that like Top of the Hill, Saltergate? I feel like it were. No, it, it weren't on the top of the hill. It was in the mid, bang in the middle of Chesterfield. I remember that because, like, you got from Ch my train station, it took you about a 10 minute walk to get to the ground. Uh, yeah. But it's bang, we it used to be bang in the middle of Chesterfield. Uh, it's not there. That's now, a blast so. from the past, isn't it? Can you remember that time when we were going to watch, um, oh, I forget what team it were, but we ended up at water sheddings because uh, our <laughs> got cancelled. Yeah, yeah. And then when they were all looking at us, it's like, why are you taking Why are you lot you? I remember that doing Doncaster versus Batley when Doncaster got promoted. There was a bus full of Eagles fans and we all went. 
and we went to support Donny and we're watching it and we were all just and we loved it. And especially when Doncaster scored in the last five minutes to win. And then they got promoted at first division. And every single Batley fan, and they was, what the heck? And we're all there in Sheffield Eagles gears and everything like that. Yeah. And we're going, what the hell are doing this? Well, we'll come and support Doncaster. Yeah. <laughs> the Batley will never change. Did you go to the Super League game in France? No, I didn't. Oh, I, I didn't. did. That, that were an experience, that. Um, that is a long story that was uh, I blame on an ex-girlfriend, let's put it that way. Oh, shame on her. <laughs> hence ex, hence sex. Yeah, exactly. um, but uh, that, was, that was such a great day. Honestly, it was brilliant yeah. that day. It's, it's when you say about when all the history of the Eagles, I mean, we was there with the first Super League game. Um, you know, was, Jane were on Sky Sports, you know. We yeah. were on the advert for Sky Sports. They stopped yeah. us coming out of Don Valley mm. and asked us to jump in air and say Sky Sports. And we were, <laughs> we were on, because uh, we mm. I didn't have Sky then because I couldn't afford mm. it. Well, I weren't my mum and dad's, to be fair. And uh, a friend who I worked with said, you were on Sky, you were on advert. Mm. So I have no idea what it looks like. If so, anybody's on the most iconic picture of Sheffield Eagles as a supporter, it's you. Because oh, I'll always cool. say it's the one on the bus when it's got Sheffield Eagles, a 5D tog scarf, and it went, have, have, rugby club will travel. Yeah. That, that scarf picture is more iconic than anything else to do with his club. Because it was just there, and you just took it, and he was just like, "Look, you were so proud. You've always been so proud of being an Eagles." Well, what fan. it were, Dean? He got on bus to take pictures, and I went, "Take one of me." <laughs> <laughs> and he ended up taking that, and uh, obviously the rest is history. That was going to a way match, weren't we? I can't remember. That's a, when yeah, we were. yeah, I think that was when we were on the road again, yeah. and we didn't have an home ground. Gee, what a surprise! Yeah. I, it's, <laughs> We spent more time on the road than all else. I remember getting the announcement that we're going to play at Don Valley. And it's the same as Don Valley, because you remember it. Remember the first game at Don Valley? What happened? There was no turnstiles. So half of the crowd got in for free. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. There was, you know, it's, yeah. it's just exactly the, it's exactly the same. Why we should be surprised? Yeah. You know, or something happened. Like David, Dave Topless going mad at Wakefield Trinity because the tannoy was going into their dressing room. And he couldn't do a team tour because they were going at number one, Sheffield Eagles and all this. And they were doing all the announcements and were coming into this into the dressing rooms. There were loads of problems that night with Don was Valley. That that day, was that that day when a streaker ran on pitch? No, oh, no. That was Oldham Stadium, Silk Club versus Oldham. Her name was Dawn. <laughs> Just she to know her name. Who do you think she gave a coat to? <laughs> We, me and Jason, we stood there, and I'm about 19. Jason must have been about 14, same 15. Age. We're exactly the same age, so I were 19. Yeah. yeah, and we just, and we stood there, and all of a sudden this woman went, here, take this, grabs the coat, I looked, and she went, pow. <laughs> and I went, what? And Jason's going, uh, 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 I went. <laughs> did you, did he not want to rest on the ground? And the best of it is, is when she walks up to the Oldham trainer and he's got his hands full with all stuff and she's <laughs> completely naked and he's putting his, his head's going up in the air going, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and, oh, to, and, then, and, then, and then on the Monday, because we were doing the schools, I was saying, I was saying to Tubby and uh, Daryl and all the rest of them, I went, did you get a look, boys? And they went, at the what? I said, did you see it? It's straight. And he went, Oh, we heard about it. He said, but we all went, no, we've got to be professional, got to be professional. <laughs> <laughs> I went, yeah, right, whatever. But oh, um, I mean, the grand, I mean, no other club has gone through what we did. We we won a grand final without a home. Because 2013, no. Don Valley yeah. was being demolished and we won the, we went back to back. Yeah, I can't see was, another club ever what? doing that. The team that we have now are very similar to our the back to back team. Um, their attitude on the pitch is just a joy to watch because, you know, when they make that tackle, when they get somebody out into touch, they're all, like, going up to each other and, you know, it, they're celebrating those little wins. And when you see that, you know that they've got a good bond. You know that, that that's... I mean, last season, 
I mean, all them lads that played for us last season were great kids, but they just lost it. They'd lost it. And I don't know why, but it had gone away from them. And every game, you, you just knew that they were going to lose. And every game when they did start to lose, you knew then they were going to lose everly because the Reds went down. Whereas this team, you know, as soon as they like, if we do go behind, they're thinking of ways to get back in front. They're not dwelling on it. And like last season, if let's say we were we'd gone down 18 points, they'd stop trying like this season, they're always trying to, you know, win that game. It's, it's a joy to watch and you don't mind paying your money when, I mean, I'll just go anyway. Yeah. But uh, can you remember the season after we were at, at Wembley and it were absolutely horrendous? And I think Harry, I've, not, I've, I've rarely walked away from a game, but I think I remember walking away from a few games that season following. 99 or? Yeah. 99. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it were awful. Yeah, I was a kit man for the first few months, and so how things can change, though, don't it? I yeah. Suddenly, what I put yeah. that down to there was an announce, and I will always say this, and Toby might back me up on this. Brown. No, it weren't. There was an announcement at the end of August, September, that Sheffield Eagles was putting Paul Broadbent on the transfer list. Ah, right. And Paul Broadbent was leaving the Eagles. Which something that we never thought would happen. Yeah, it, that was worse to me than Dowell leaving the club because I didn't expect when Dowell sat me down and explained why he was going, and I could get it, but I could never understand why Paul Paul, Paul was leaving. I could never well, do it. Me, and then really, when he left for a short time. Yeah, but well, so he could. I watched a video with him mentioning about that with Featherstone on uh, with Maurice Lindsay when I. I, for some crazy reason, I've typed in Morris Lindsay on YouTube, and then this debate came up, and it was like the announcement of Super League. Bruce McGuire was on there, uh, all these people from Featherston, Keithley, and everything. And at the end of it, Morris Lindsay mentions the fact that Featherston paid for the check for Mark Aston, and it bounced. And no I'm like, way. and I'm like, Toby has to get on everything, doesn't it? It's like, it was, but I'll send you the link because it's amazing. Bruce McGuire with straight back hair and ponytail. Yeah. I think it must have been just before he went back to Australia. Nick Grimaldi yeah. was on there, being, a, being the uh, players' yeah, representative. I was yeah. like, I think the only person at Sheffield Eagles weren't on there were Gary and everything else, but it was all about the birth of Super League and this, the mergers yeah. and things like that. Because yeah. um, it, it was just crazy to think that when we look back at all that, I mean, with Beans... Well, you know, you know the merger? Yeah. I mean, I remember that and... I was with my dad at the time, and we we were, I can't remember where we were, we were away game, and they were all chatting to us about it. And I remember crying because I thought, they're not my team now, they, my team's gone. You know, um, I'd made this, uh, I had this brass plaque made for my dad, which said yeah. Sheffield Eagles on it, and he chucked it in the bin yeah. because he were like, oh, that's it, we're done. And yeah. um, and then obviously Tubby came along, didn't he? Oh, thank God he did. Thank he God. rang me up. Yeah. Uh, evening, Mr. Webster. If you want to join in, please do click on that link. Uh, we, I think, when Tubby gave the when he was announcing he was going to do it, and Brian and Brian and Angela and Ian Annis and all them folks are saying we're going to do this again. Yeah. And I remember Tubby ringing me up and saying, "I need your jerseys." And I went, "What?" He says, "I need you to bring." All your jerseys. And I went, why? He went, we're going to pick the colours for the club tonight. And I went, is it still going to be called Eagles? Yes, we're still calling it Eagles. We've just got the name back from Huddersfield. So and everything. And I remember taking all my shirts down and going, right, yeah, we want, we want the swoop, we want the white with the swooping eagle. And we want the other one like that. So I went, right, there we go. We've got it. Yeah. And things like that. And ah, Mr. Webster's joining me. Look, it's... The first match were Chorley away, weren't oh, it? Oh, yeah, Chorley. Yeah. And then didn't, didn't Tubby lose his teeth in that game? Yeah, two front two, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but when I can remember, we won, we won that game, and when they came off, it was as if they'd won at Wembley. Yeah. You know, because yeah. it was like, we've got his team back. Good evening, Mr Webster. Good evening. Are we on about the Lancashire Lynx game, by any chance? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Oh, 
happy days. Uh, yes, Tubby lost. Uh, I think it was two teeth he lost in that one. Yeah. And we had to make it because we didn't have a kit of his own. Oh yeah, happy memories there. <laughs> yeah, because I was saying uh, we cheered him up as if we, we won at Wembley, didn't we? Uh, yeah, I remember it. It was pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, a bit confusing because we didn't know anyone. We didn't know any players apart from Tubbs. And no, I think we were didn't. Michael Jackson who we played didn't. for us before. I think that were it. But to be honest, a lot of players this year, it took a while to get to know them because we've got all new players once again, haven't we? Yeah. Always the way when they have a big turnover. But mm. uh, yeah. It needed yeah, it, though, didn't it? There were, no, there were no social media or real websites back then, so you only got to know people from going at games or seeing them in yeah. programmes. So. What year were it? Nine, 99 when we, we got back in. End of 99, start yeah. of 2000, we, uh, we did that one. Yeah, We used to go to Hillsborough Arena every week, weren't it? We used to go to Hillsborough Arena every week because you used to announce new signings at, at these little meetings. And he used to say, like, uh, Jamie Summerall and Lee, Lee Betterson and all these guys that were coming and joining the club. Well, I remember... I remember him having. Can you? Did you go to that meeting when he had that meeting at Darno to discuss with the fans uh, if they still wanted a team? Yeah. Did you go to that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, yeah. Man. They were loads. Hey, Harry. He won a medal at Sports Day today. Oh, congratulations, my man! Congratulations. Come on, Harry. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, great best effort. I don't think they won anything outright, but they got like best effort, and he got a medal and everything. I'll put a picture on. Uh, oh, they, congratulations, he went on the Twitter mate. earlier, so I'll put one on. Uh, we're just coming on, Dina, to ask, have you got a ticket, mate? Have you, do you get something sorted out? I'm going to get something sorted out at some point. Don't worry about it. I'll all get it done. Don't worry. I will. Well, I, I think there'll be more tickets on sale. I think we've just had a... I think we've, we've just, just had a thing about... Um, we've just had Mark on. Whatnot. We've just had Mark on. We've just had Mark... Mark's been on about it. Right. And he's just said it like, I mean... Katie can back this. <laughs> it looks, he's we just said, he's hardly, him and Tubby have hardly slept for the last 36 hours. Yeah. This has been... The best to, to try and resolve this issue. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's it's the best thing we can do. So yeah, it's best. Yeah. I will be there no matter what. I will be there. I, I swear to God, this. But I will be there. I'll get there yeah. somehow. If Are I you a I, no. Are you a you 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 know? Yes, yeah, I, I am. Know. Yeah, right. my, my wife goes no, to Tenerife it, tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, does she? Yeah. You know, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna shoot off to do the bedtime. I just thought I'd drop in and make sure you're all right and ticket and everything. So good, good to see you. Good to see you, Kate. No worries. And I'll, yeah, I'll catch you later. Oh, catch you a weekend. And take yeah. care, mate. Tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. See, you come on, Kate, and everybody comes on as well. Look at this. <laughs> They'll come on, interrupting me. I know. I know. How popular are you? Uh, I think. When we, when I mean, you look about when you look back at all these the years and everything. I mean, the Darnold night when he said, "Do you want a yeah. club?" and we all went, "Yeah." There were a load of us there, weren't they? Yeah, <laughs> and often as I think there was a few of us with his Wembley jerseys on. We got Wembley jerseys off the players and we're like, "We now look what we got." Da, da, da. But yeah. it's to some people, it's a rugby league club. To some people, it's a family. To three people, yeah. it's everything. It's everything to me. It it's everything to me. I mean, it's so good to support a side. And it's rugby league's the best sport in the world. So it's just a, a massive part of my life. I mean, I've watched Eagles longer than I've known Alan. It's just... <laughs> oh. it, it's something that's in me blood. I can't... The thought of not having him, you used it... it Proper stressed me out, you know, all this 2016 years. was but right, right from the like uh, 2013 when they said, you know, they were, were gonna have no ground. Yeah. The stress levels, I know they said they were, they were gonna build a ground, we didn't know how long it was gonna take, and it yeah. took a lot longer than we all thought, you know. I never so, thought we'd go back to Oldham Stadium when we did. I thought Oldham Stadium was never ever gonna. I couldn't believe it they would accept it as a rugby league ground again, but it, it is what it is. That's stated, isn't it, itself? Because, like, why would it be when they kicked us out of it? You know, and it's fated that we got in there, we played that season there, yeah. and then when that season ended, it all started again, all the stress levels, yeah. because then we didn't know where we were going to be the following season. Yeah. And I can't, I can't, under my heart, believe how Tubby has dealt with it because 
And and um, Liam, you know, obviously back then Liam yeah. had a lot to do with it all. And everybody else, really, that's been involved with the club, I can't even imagine how stressful it's been for him. Yeah. Because I'm just, I'm just stressed as a fan. And it, it, yeah, I mean, because us as fans, it's just like, oh my God, how can we do this now? For them, poor buggers at work in the office. They, they couldn't work it out. You can't imagine what they went through yesterday. I mean, if, if Mark's just been saying about for the last 36 hours, they've been trying to sort some out. Can you imagine it? You work in the office and there's a phone call and all of a sudden it's like, bang. That, oh, by the way, uh, I know you've been looking forward to this for a few months and everything's been in place, but they, we're going to put this into you about yeah. six days before the event. And like, what? And I thought the worst when I saw, I mean, it's like I said earlier, I thought the worst when I saw it, that club statement. And uh, when he said club statement, I went, oh, no, 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 not the stadium. Well, I didn't see it. I honestly didn't see the statement because what it were is I'm trying to get as many people to go as possible. Yeah. So a friend of mine, I've got a few friends going. What is a witness, one of us is a witness fan, actually. So we were always going. He works in Sheffield. He works at the last job that I worked at. Yeah. And then there's and the two lads, but the witness fan and the other lad have, I think hopefully have bought the tickets already. But the other one, and I, I said to him, I said to him yesterday, he uh, sent him a link to get ticket and everything. And then he messaged me today and said, I won't be able to go. They've, they've sold out. How will I? What are you on about? Right. So anyway, that's when I saw the statement. I, yeah. I didn't see it before that. Mm. I just, uh, I, well, it is what it is. We're not going to dwell on it. We can't change it. Everything like that. I mean, I can't. Well, let's let's yeah. Go. Let's let's. I mean, it's Wednesday. There's a couple of days. Let's see what what can be done. Yeah. Um, because they've moved mountains. They've moved mountains and more. Has done everything. What people asked. We've had this. We've had the stadium put back twice because it was yeah. February. Then it was April. Now it's May. Yeah. So it's been always been put back. And surely that somebody. I mean. Uh, it is what it is. It's just... Uh, you expected that with Stadium, though. I, I yeah. expected it. I didn't want it to happen, but I expected it because, mm. you know, that's what happens, don't it, with new builds? They, they tend to go on longer than... The, I mean, 99% of the time, a new build will go on longer than the deadline, won't they? Oh, oh so, Jess, Jesse just put a wonderful message. Look at this. Love how the Eagles fans are a family. My Tony would love seeing you all so excited and emotional for next week. Mm. Oh, Jesse, thank you for that. Thank you. No, uh, it's, I mean, it's nice the fact that Toby and everybody is going to acknowledge the fact of all the people that's not here and they've passed away throughout well, the years. What being yeah. That's what's that's amazing. Because, uh, I mean, I know it's people... Quite a lot, ain't they, as well? Yeah. Quite a lot of people have passed away, haven't they? Yeah, and they're not not even old people. A lot of young people. Mm. I think you look at. I look at other people that's gone, and there's like John Henderson and Scud and all these other wonderful people. And Scud yeah, and Annie. himself, I Ian Annis. I think yeah. the, I've been the people have got to know the contribution of what that gentleman did for Sheffield yeah. Eagles from the nineties all the way up to everything. He has somebody has to say like, look. Without, without Ian Annis, I'll put it straight, without Ian Annis, there won't be a stadium. Because Ian, he was one of the people that's announced that there's going to be an Olympic legacy park for Sheffield Eagles. We're going to have this for rugby league. He was one of the main people that got the National Lottery grant for Hillsborough Hawks at the old Hillsborough running track. That turns yeah. into what it is now, Hillsborough Arena. Um, it's such a shame that the he's work, not here. The work that Ian did for rugby league in Sheffield, it's second to none. Yeah. It's second to none, whatever it is. I mean, is Ian, the, the, the relationship that we used to have with Hillsborough, Hillsborough or Junior Eagles, whatever it was then, and Sheffield Eagles was second to none. It was so, so tight and close. And the people that involved in it became so, so powerful and so, so well-respected in rugby league and everything. Somebody that said to Ian Annis 20-odd years ago, well, by the way, uh, is what happens to Sheffield Eagles over the next 20-odd years. And you'd go. And if you just put it down in front of you and just go, right, you could go back in time and say to yourself, right, 1999, we've just, 1998, we've just won the cup. This is what's going to happen to the Eagles over the next 25 years. And you write it down in front of yourself and you go, no way does that club have survived. 
No way it does that club survive. It should be a movie, shouldn't it? It should be mo- a movie. It should be a book. It, there should be a book about from 99 to now. It mm. should be everybody, like, get all the players involved. I mean, here's a question for you. How is QLT playing like he is from, like, 10, 11 years ago? I don't know. I honestly... Do you know what? And he doesn't look any different either. <laughs> he, still, he still looks the same age. <laughs> honestly... <laughs> Yeah. Is he still doing his sweet shop in uh, Sheffield? Because remember him doing the deliveries on that. doing that. I don't know if he's doing it anymore. I'm yeah. not sure. He oh. did start that, didn't he? Like yeah. delivering sweets, weren't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything to survive. Anything to survive. It was superb. Yeah. Um, I, I, I bumped into Missy uh, uh, when we played at Donny recently. Yeah. And I bumped into Missy and Menzie. Yeah. Uh, Missy's broke his arm. Oh. He's been, he broke his arm in, in playing for Donny. I didn't even know he was playing. Yeah, yeah, he's still playing with Doncaster, yeah. Because he's, um, he's old and all, isn't he? 40. Oh, he's, he's 40 now, yeah. He's old for a rugby league player, isn't he? <laughs> he's not quite Jeff Gration yet, because <laughs> Jeff Gration was about 46, 47 when he backed up playing. He always Pushed reminded it. me of Stanley G. Stanley yeah. G always looked about yeah. 50, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. QRT stopped doing the sweets. Cheers, Alistair. Thank you for that. Um, um, right. I, I was all set stop. to get an order in on Monday. I was all set to see, well, only if we're doing order. <laughs> Did you say he stopped? Dean? Yeah, he's, 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 yeah, Alistair just said he stopped doing the sweets. I think it's just, it's just, it, I mean, you remember every more than anyone what's happened. It's just, if anybody's going to put you there, it's you've been there no matter what. No matter where it's been, no matter where you've gone, you've been that person. You've been one of the few that said, look, I'll go wherever Eagles play, everything like that. Um, 98 went there. You, know, you know what gets me there a lot of the time? Obviously, I want to go and watch it, but the young lads that are, obviously Billy's my son and he, he's uh, friends with all the young supporters. Yeah. And uh, I take them a lot of the time. And just it's just great being amongst them and they absolutely love this club they they're the future the they're the future of this. yeah and they go to every game home and away yeah. uh, i mean obviously they're all away but you know um but they absolutely if you listen to them they love this club and and it's there it's those people we need you know for the future of the eagles we need these young kids to come and watch the game and I know that um, they've got a lot of friends at uni uh, in Sheffield <clears throat> that are going to come along. And I've already come to a few games this season, to be fair. Um, so hopefully, you know, they'll build the support up. And that's what we need, don't we now? Yeah. Jane Christopher says, what about me? <laughs> oh, yeah, I James there, I know, yeah. <laughs> oh, I think, I think we'll look back in... Some of the craziest sponsorships as well. I think we always have to laugh at that. Oh, we got sponsorship. I don't think I've ever known of a rugby league team that would take on Skoda cars at the height of the Skoda joke uh, phenomenon and have people like Darrell Powell and Mark Aston refusing hands down to even get behind the wheel of a Skoda. Uh, the famous Deu cars and everybody was driving these massive chunks of... Uh, <laughs> The right-angled cars of all time. There was there was, there was no rounded edges on it, really. It was those all right-angled cars. But yeah. They, they, I had that Sheffield Eagles badge on the back didn't and you everything. Get, didn't you get sponsored by LG Electrics as well? Yeah, yeah. The famous electronic when it gave and everybody then... a big widescreen telly for winning at final, and it took three of them to a lifting. <laughs> great fun, absolutely and then great G- fun. G- GM, what were other than GM Summit? Oh. And because we used to sing that song, you won't get me out of our reunion. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. What were it? Yeah, union. Yeah, G- yeah uh, uh, union pro people. Yeah. Yeah, G-U-M or something right like that. Valley, didn't we? Yeah. 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 And I think what the best of things we remember of me is like when we used to have Hallam FM doing the uh, pre match, and then all of a sudden we got rid of them and got Galaxy FM. Who didn't have a clue about rugby league or anything like that? And he's going, and they're going, well, he's going, well, get him, get, yeah, I'll have my fan back. And Mike Turner going, I've made a right boo boo up here, haven't I? I went, yeah. <laughs> I said, why have you got Galaxy FM and you haven't got a clue? 
Uh, mm. GMB was the union, according to our chat room. Thanks, Alison, yeah, Jane, and Mitch. Yeah. Yeah. GM, GMB. Yeah. Yeah. Union. Yeah. So, I think the, the sponsorships have been legend. I think I had to do an event once where I had to go to ASDA. Another one of Mike Turner's great ones. Um, he said to me in one week, "I need you to take home the outfit." And I says, "Why?" He says, "We need you to be Freddie at ASDA at Chapel Town." I went. Um. God. On a Saturday. And I went, why? And he says, we need you to promote Henderson's Relish. <laughs> no way. I went, what? And he says, there's gonna get, they're gonna get, there's gonna be loads of Henderson's Relish, and they want Freddie the Eagle to pass out these free samples. And I went, and what do I get? He says, Don't worry, it'll all be taken care of. You get so, <laughs> so I got <laughs> so I got went to uh, I went to um Chapel Town the next day, did six hours dressed up as Freddie the Eagle, handed out all these Anderson's Valleys and got on my bus, bang back home. Monday morning, half past ten, remember it, knocked on the door. Hello, we've got a delivery here for Dean Mitchell from Anderson's Relish. And I went, yeah, what is it? He says, we've got two years supply of Anderson's Relish for you. And about 150 bottles of Anderson's Relish was outside my door. <laughs> I've never been so happy to having four good sisters <laughs> in my life. It was like, does anybody want any Anderson's relish around here? And I was just <laughs> piles and piles of Anderson's relish. Oh, it was brilliant. It was just, yeah. them we, stories just legendary. Well, we used to, uh, me and our Jane used to go and try and give tickets away. Yeah, um, she's just saying they gave tickets away in the Saturday in the co-op in town. Yeah, back then, yeah. yeah. I mean, sometimes they wouldn't even take tickets that we were giving away sometimes. Yeah. And it was because it, it's hard work in a city with so many sports. It's yeah. very hard work but to get people yeah. into rugby league. Especially, and when you think of how long we've been going, there are still people today that do not know we exist. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that and that's understandable because we've got no money to be able to yeah. advertise. Um, but that's something that we've yeah. got to start doing now. Yeah. Do you think the World Cup will help? I think the World Cup end of this year. I do, and I, I'm hoping so. I mean, when we were back-to-back -back champions, a lot of that support were Blades and Owls, you know, uh, that wanted to come when their season's over, then come and watch ours. So I'm hoping, you know, fingers crossed. It's It can only be a positive thing, can't it? Yeah, yeah. I think it's, I mean, it's a new dawn next week. It's it's another chapter of the uh, another another dawn of Sheffield Eagles uh, yeah. life journey. It doesn't matter how many is going to be there. There's going to be people. There's going to be chanting Eagles all night long. Yeah. And there's a stadium there. It's nothing around that pitch. There's nothing temporary about it. It's proper toilets. There's it's like Mark said on Monday. There's a masseur room. There's a physio room. There's a changing yeah. room. He's got everything there for himself now. It's it's proper. There's it looks amazing when you walk through it. Uh, there's a video on there's LinkedIn. LinkedIn. One thing that I'm gonna be like more butterflies than anything is we need to win that game. Yeah. Of all the games we've played all season, this is the game we need this is, to win. And We've got ex Eagles guys coming back because we've got Aaron and there's Ollie, Oliver and Fozzie. Yeah. There's yeah. all them lads. So, in a way, I'm glad that it's not the London game is the first one because we've got ex Eagles lads that's playing with witness that have been here through all the things yeah. in the last nine years. Yeah. So, they can experience the new stadium just as much as anybody else. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm glad in a way. Oliver is such, I mean, they all are fantastic. Um, I've, I love them all. I mean, for me, Losing Ollie were the biggest wrench for me because he was, I just felt like he lived and breathed Sheffield Eagles. Um, so we're really good. But you're always gutted when good players go, aren't you? Yeah. But it's the it's the name of the game, isn't it? Yeah. I remember when Dom went and I went heartbroken because I'd lost Dom, Dom and mm. it was like, oh, God, as if Dom's gone. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they come and go, don't they? And it's yeah. just something that you have to deal with. It's I couldn't, the, I couldn't imagine the Eagles without Davil. That was the one that did. That was the first major wrench of my life mm. when Davil left. And because he was one of first signings, weren't yeah, he? Yeah, he was. A, he was Mr. Sheffield Eagles. He was the first of everything. First yeah. one to play Great Britain, Yorkshire. First signing. First Great Britain. Oh, everything was the first. Was Davil? It was him. I 
I'll tell you what as well, back then, Daryl used to be quite happy. <laughs> <laughs> he used to have a laugh with you, and he used to... If I, ever, I swear, if I ever get him on this show, because I know I'm going to try and get him at the end of the season, I'm not bothering him at the moment because it's too stressful. Yeah. I'm going to try for the off season. I swear, when I get him on, the first thing I'm going to say is, Katie Peach says, why don't you smile? Okay. We always have a joke. But it's, it's Toby joke. said it Monday. He said it's because he's in Lancashire. That's what's up with him. That's yeah. why he's not smiling. He's in Lancashire now. Every time he's on the TV, we, <laughs> we, have, we have a joke at our house, and we go, "And Daryl, who does not look happy." Yeah. I like him when he does that. He does arms out, going, "What? Yeah. What's yeah. going on?" Always does that. He gets um, really stressed, doesn't he, and blames yeah. everybody else. Yeah. I'll give him his joke. When I got diagnosed with my cancer in 2014, uh, Jason, it was Leeds v Cast at Tennis Cup final at Wembley. And yeah. Jason rang me up and he says, Can you see us on telly? And they're interviewing this guy on Grandstand. And Jason's behind him waving, and he's waving at the screen. And I went, Yeah, I can see. He goes, Yeah, hold on a minute. There's somebody that wants to talk to you. And Dowell came on and he goes, Nan in sunshine, are you all right? And I went, Yeah. And both of them went, Woo! And then oh. waving at the camera, and I bawled. I was in tears, laughing my head off. I went, trust you two. About half an hour before the Challenge Cup final, both sides, and you're doing that. And he went, well, which, which I told him that you had got that. So we had, so we had to, we said, let's find a camera that's on telly and let's see if Dino can see us. And that's, that's really nice, is. though, isn't it? It's, it's, it's brilliant. It makes my, it makes me, makes me heart go. It bounces a million times better. Yeah. yeah, I would have never got. I always said that I work for Sheffield Wednesday. I, I did some, I worked for Jeffrey Wednesday for four months and I got the sack and that's my fault and everything like that. I never felt part of the club. Yeah. The day after I got sacked at Sheffield Wednesday, I rang the Eagles up and said, can I come back and do some coaching? And Jace went, yeah, yeah, no problem. And within 10 minutes of me walking back to the Eagles, it was the first time I'd walked back in a year. I was made, felt more welcome in them 10 minutes than I'd ever felt at Sheffield Wednesday. And I knew I'd made the biggest mistake and going to work Wednesday. I should have stayed at the Eagles. Yeah. And I always said that. When it you live always. and learn, don't you? We are a family, do you know? We are yeah. absolutely a community. Yeah. Whether it be whether it be walking through Don Valley, I said it on Monday, what yesterday, walking through Don Valley four days after the Challenge Cup final and seeing Rocky Turner and going, How the hell did you put that ball down over the try line? And he yeah. went, Well, I got Mr. Tickle Arms, haven't I? And I'm like, genius. But there's been a million of characters, there's been a million yeah. folks, there's been a million supporters, but there's only one of you. And there's and it's a million and it's the the way that you've stood up for the Eagles through thick and thin. You'll shout over it when you've gone to Lee, whether it's been Lee, Warrington, Featherston, Hull, Hulkinson Rovers, every ground in the world where they've got the most voiceless and the most fans that are less, less said, less than humane. Let's put it that word. Jane Christopher, thank God. <laughs> um, but um you've been everywhere. You've followed the Eagles through thick, thin, snow, rain, everything. And the zone. And I'm going to do it forever. Absolutely. Yeah. It's actually crazy to think that, yeah, Mitch Stringer, legend is our Katie. Wow. He's like Batman. Batman. <laughs> uh, but um, what I'm going to do with it, what's prediction for Monday? What's your score prediction? I can't. I can't. Don't talk to me about it. I can't do it. I can't do it, and I'm not doing it. More importantly, what jersey are you wearing? Do you know the old whip red away, the white, the white um, shirt that had got black and red bands? Yeah. I'm wearing that. I have to get one that I ain't got, have you? So... I love that. I love that shirt. And you got it? No, no. My 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 version of that got given to the club when I when I gave all the jerseys to the club. Ah so. well, I have the red the home one as well. It was yeah. Uh, I remember my dad bought me that for Christmas on Christmas, and then when it, when kids started to come when they were really little, me and our Jane had our sh them shirts cut down so that they fit the kids. So obviously <laughs> they're gone now, you know. So if they have the oh. home one, yeah. I don't have any more. Yeah. Well, I've got I've got too many, so I've got I'll have to I'll have to I ain't got a clue. I ain't got a clue. I think I'll come up with one. I'll wear me I'll wear me hoodie that's too big. <sighs> Dear them sizes this year. I know. <laughs> God, I bought an extra large with normal size and it comes past me hips. It's all the way down here, and I'm like, what's going on here? I might get another one. 
Yeah, I might get another one. They're only a tenner. I might just give them and say, I get only a tenner, get it in. But, They're all um, right, though, aren't they, when you think of that amount? I mean, I'm glad I didn't pay full price because... Yeah, anyway, we're not going to that, but we're all right, aren't they? Somebody did. Yeah, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I paid for, I paid a, a special price for polo shirt and Udi. I think I paid 45 quid, and then a week later, they put it down to a tenner. I'm like, I don't believe it. <clears throat> Alan, come here. That's not the shirt I'm wearing. It's my white shirt, but he's brought this down. Look at this uh, one. <laughs> this is the, he's just brought that down. Oh, nice. I've got that one there. I've got dowels there. I've got dowels over there. Well, funnily enough, this shirt, I've got an old, um, you know, car thing, you know, so you can hang it in your car. Yeah, yeah. And it's in a, a shirt, and that's got width bread across it. Yeah, and 30 I've years, had it, actually. I've had it for over 30 years, and it's still yeah. in your car. Yeah. The craziest, the uh, this craziest souvenirs we've had, we've had them all. We've had a ball that only said one F in Sheffield. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, dear God, uh, God bless the souvenir shops we used to have, and everybody that worked at them. And that bloke used to stand outside Don Valley selling them badges, dinner, them pins. Yeah, I think it's, I think somebody's trying to still sell some Sheffield Eagles badges on feet. In fact, that's what I've got to bring up on Monday. I've got a load of badges so if anybody wants them. Wait I've a minute. Some. I've got some badges I want to get rid of because I don't collect badges. So I've it. got this. I've got this, and I don't know how old this is, but it's just in the kitchen. I've got that. Oh, that's uh damn, that's 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 middle 90s. That one. That's gotta be early middle 90s, that one. Yeah, I don't collect them myself. It's yeah. just that I, you know, I find I've got I've over. got all the kit ones, I've got the little Heineken kit ones, I've got all them. Yeah, I've got the purple, well, the green, and the red ones, ones, aren't they? They're the yeah. plastic ones. Yeah, yeah. But um, they, uh, it's. I mean, tonight you've been awesome. I'm so glad you've come on and just telling me what it means to you and everything for next week. It means um, everything, honestly. It means everything to me. Oh wait, Dina, I've got this and all. I have eagles things lying about everywhere, <laughs> and I've probably got Mitch Stringer's signature in here. Brilliant. I bet I have an old because yeah. here look think... if you look, I yeah. wrote down the old sign date on it. <laughs> Gary Jack. Oh, dear dear. Me. dear God. That was Craig Brown, that. That Craig Brown, I thought it looked like Gary Jack. Well, That's what's on my is, eyes, all right. This is Mitch Stringer. Mitch Stringer. Oh, go go to the yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> did you see it? Yeah, yeah. How what? big is it? My god, look how thick it is. <laughs> yeah. That's Mitch's. Oh, I've uh, even got Freddie. With me, I didn't sign it. I've got you. I swear down, I've got Freddie in it. But wouldn't have been me. It wouldn't. No, oh, wouldn't. no, Kitty, look. Yeah, Kitty. Yeah. yeah, Kitty, love you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think, I mean, somebody's, uh, oh, everybody knows me with Freddie and things like that and diving over the boards or because of the uh, the people that were doing it. Can I tell you something of why you were called Freddie? Do you know why we called you Freddie? No. Right, so one particular game, and it must have been when you were first come out, you know, in that yeah. mascot, and we were shouting Eddie. We mm. were going, Eddie, Eddie, and the Tannoy man, Thought we were saying Freddie. Freddie. Yeah. So you ended up being called Freddie, Freddie. the Eagle. Yeah. And then it got the biggest argument of how it was spelt. Was it spelt with a Y or was it spelt with IE? And it was the biggest argument to this day. It was always IE. Yeah. And we signed it as IE and everything. I mean, yeah. I must have been assaulted about nine or ten times by kids at Don Valley Stadium because they didn't understand that there was somebody actually in that outfit and they punched him in the nose. And every time <laughs> they punched him in the nose, my neck jolted back. So I got, I must have been assaulted about at least a dozen times by the children of Sheffield. So don't, but, don't say that because whoever's taking up the next one, they're going to get that abuse as well. No, they're not because they'll keep away from the kids. No yeah. Point if, yeah. If don't, they're going to do kids. The kids, the kids are the worst. Just keep away. Just stick to the home fans. That's it. That's the best way. Stick to the home fans. Don't go to the away ones because they'll just come along and murder you, especially yeah. with Edison. Oh, God, yeah. honestly, some of the kids when we go to the games are bloody yeah. awful. 
Oh, I think right, listen, I'm I've got to go. go. I've got to yeah. go because literally I've got a job to do with my wife before she goes away for a holiday. Thank yeah. you so much, mate. Thanks for doing this tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure. You're and welcome. thanks to everybody that's come on the show tonight, Mark, for explaining things. And we hope that everything gets sorted for once in the world, for everything. Yeah. It. I will see you Monday. I promise yeah. you, I will see you Monday. All I'll right? see you for a pint, pal. Absolutely. You take care of yourself. Take care, everybody. Good night. Good bless. We'll see you tomorrow for another Eagles chat. Who knows who we are? Everybody's welcome. Take care, guys. Good night. God bless. Bye-bye.